All right, here is my run at National A1 license. It's about Ford Mustang at Apricot Hill Raceway. I don't actually remember if there is ABS1 here or not, but still the thing I wanted to first of all underline is that uh, ABS1 isn't substitute for threshold braking altogether, so you still have to modulate your braking <coughs> to a certain extent. I think ABS1 is more about uh, the inbuilt stabilization that it provides rather than uh, actual ABS functions. Although with the lack of uh, feel from the wheel compared to iRacing or Assetto Corsa, uh, there is certain complexity when it comes to ABS. ABS has to be uh, more predictive than responsive. But either way, um, here's uh, here's how it goes. It's very straightforward. You accelerate down, then you start braking. <coughs> you should start braking earlier. I think I started braking somewhere in mm, yeah, right below 50 meters, uh, and I go wide. It actually might not be bad. I sort of hit the apex, but my apex was very wide. Uh, ideally, ideally, right? You would want to break earlier because I overshot the corner. You would want to break somewhere, I would guess, uh, here. Yeah, so just before I started actually breaking. Here is uh, why I don't actually hate uh, going deeper and going for sort of like a late apex. The thing about the Mustang is that Mustang is very heavy on the real axle. It's very tail happy. So when you actually go out of the corner and watch throttle, it takes me I uh, pretty much straight before I apply full throttle. So this car uh, has the potential to uh, spin. So you have to be really careful. So when you go when you go in very tight, if if I went in tighter than this, right? Uh, the Mustang would be at a higher angle. So it would require more finesse on the exit of the corner. You you, you go in a tighter angle. Uh, so you you know this, all the forces that apply to your wheel, they all fighting for the same grip that tires provide. There is lateral, there is acceleration, there is deceleration grip and all that stuff. So the more your wheel is turned to one side, the more lateral grip is applied to the tire. So it jeopardizes the acceleration grip you want to have. I'm sure ideally if you have a couple more runs with the car, you can achieve perfection. You can achieve tighter. I mean, it does seem like a corner that is no reason here to apply really a late apex uh, technique, quote unquote, but I'm not sure. Either way, it worked for me, and uh, that was the first, I actually, um, this is the first license I, I did since I came back, and um, yeah, I, I um, in the following licenses, I definitely apply more effort than this one. But yeah, after this, you basically accelerate, and you're, you're golden. Um, not that complex, honestly. Uh, I think I remember struggling uh, with it a bit first time, but uh, you know, once once you get the hold, the hang of how GT cars, uh, G6 cars generally handle, uh, I think you can do it for quite easily. So that's it for for this test.